hey y'all welcome to the channel so today we are cooking for beginners with the ramen noodles we're going to show you two ways to make it one way with egg and one way without we will be using the following seasonings cayenne pepper for the spice chicken bouillon for the flavor and black pepper just for a little more spice if you've never cooked anything and you wondered how to make ramen noodles or make something easy, we're gonna start. Turn your eye on high. In this pot, I have two and a half cups of water. Once we put the noodles in, we'll see if we need to add more. You just open one of the cubes up and drop it in. Once the water starts boiling and the cube dissolves, then we'll add the noodles to the pot. Take a fork and start moving the cube around. This is gonna help it dissolve a little faster. This should take about two to three minutes at most, depending on your stove. The cube is dissolved. Now we're just gonna wait for the water to start boiling. It's only been about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. I'm gonna open up my pack like this. Make sure you're careful in how you open your pack. You're gonna pull the seasoning out Sit that aside, we'll use that later. If you want long noodles, you leave them like this. If you want short noodles, you'll break them in half. Just like this. That's it, two pieces, drop them in. We don't need any more water. Look at them, trying to get back together again. Turn your eye down to a medium high. See them getting loose. You're not gonna cook them until they soft and mushy. Unless that's how you like your noodles. The reason I put the bouillon cube in the water is because I want the water good and seasoned. It cuts back on how much of this seasoning right here that I use. You can use the whole pack, but this has a lot of sodium in it. So I'm only gonna use half the pack. It doesn't take but a few minutes to cook your noodles. At this point, you can go ahead. If you want to add black pepper to season it, you can. A little spiciness to it. I'll put some red crushed pepper flakes in it or you can use cayenne pepper. This is about how I like my noodles. You can cook yours longer. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to put it in a bowl. So let's take this off the eye, turn it off, let it calm down. We're gonna sit it aside over here. Just 30, 40 seconds. So to drain the water off, because I don't use all the water, I only like a little bit of the water. You don't have to put your seasoning packs in the water. You can wait till you take your noodles out and then sprinkle them on. I'm gonna use a spoon like this. Let me show you. See the consistency of the noodle? It's not sticky, it's not mushy. It's semi-long. Now what I like to do is keep some of my juice. Cause see, there's none in here. So we're gonna add a little bit. And if you wait until the end to add your seasoning, I suggest you add a little bit of that juice to it so that way it makes it easier to stir it up. And that's it y'all. That's how you cook your ramen noodles. Easy peasy. So here's the next ramen recipe. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, y'all, for the second ramen noodle that you'll be adding your egg to, in this pot, I have three cups of water, one pack of the ramen, bouillon cube, and one egg. 
And we'll be using the same seasonings, black pepper, crushed red pepper, and that's it. So this water is gonna come to a boil. I'm about to add the bouillon cube. Putting a lid over it will bring it to a boil a whole lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up your bag. boiling now so for this one we're gonna leave it whole and just put it in because we're using an egg we're not gonna cook this all the way until it's the right texture that you want go ahead and get your egg ready once your water starts boiling you can turn it down a little bit to a medium high I have my setting on eight right now. Be careful with this water, y'all. If you're new to cooking, be careful. Always have your ends of your pot into the stove. Never have them hanging off the stove because you might walk by and knock it off. See how that's loosening up? I know it's a lot of steam. Hopefully you can see it. So that's good enough because we're gonna cook it some more. So now, we're gonna take our egg, we're gonna crack it into a bowl or cup. I'm gonna use this measuring cup, that way you can see. So just gonna crack it. Gently put it in there like that, so it's all in one piece. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to put it on the far end. So what you're gonna do is move your noodles over to the side. You're gonna place, pour it in just like that. Now you're gonna put a top on it. Can you see the egg in there, y'all? Put a top on it, take it off the heat, sit it aside for about 30 to 40 seconds, turn your eye off, Make sure you turn your eye off. What you're doing now with putting that egg inside of that water like that, you're poaching your egg. Hopefully you have a glass lid, that way you can peep in it like I am to see what's going on. The egg is right over in here. You don't have to add the seasoning pack if you don't want to, but for video's sake, I'm gonna add it. So it's ready. It is ready, Freddy. We're gonna get us a nice little bowl. Well, just a little container. Um, first, you're gonna get your noodles out. Put them in there. Remember, I kept them long, so. Since I did the other ones not long. Try not to hit your egg because you don't want to damage your egg at all. I'm going to show you the egg when I get these noodles out. This is the egg down up in here. Hold on. Right there. That's your egg. So this is your egg and your noodles. This is how a lot of people like to eat theirs. And now you can just take your seasoning pack and just sprinkle a little bit on. Remember y'all, it's a lot of sodium in there. I know a lot of y'all not watching your sodium, but I am. A Little bit of pepper. a Little bit of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna get my hand out of there like that. And there you go, easy peasy. That's two ways to make your ramen noodle, with egg and without egg. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it out, like the video, like the video, like the video, and I will see y'all on another video. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me.